Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we are hopping in Bus Simulator 20 for a little bit here, and I gotta say, I don't understand what's going on. The steering feels all kinds of strange. Um, it's not really centering for some reason. It feels like I have to center it myself, which never happened with this game before. I don't know what's going on with it, but... uh Hopefully the update will correct that. So I got a uh, I got a comment on my Train Sim World video saying that uh, I haven't done my bus sim content for a while, and that's absolutely true. I am waiting for the update. I haven't abandoned this game. I do like the game. Um, I really do enjoy it. It's a lot different than from Bus. You know, it's a lot more arcade. It's it's fake places and stuff like that. But I still really do enjoy the. Uh, the game. So let's get these people a ticket here real quick before we get into what we're going to talk about here. One trip ticket. They have an there you awesome go. New exhibition Two, four, six, seven, fifty, sixty, seventy, and eighty is your change, ma'am. Oh boy, we have a lot of tickets. Okay. Oops. Oops. I, do. I gave him too much money back, I feel like. Okay. But, other than that, I also got asked a question if I could show the key bindings for my wheel. And I thought that would be a good idea to do right now because next week we're actually getting the, uh, the new big update. So that's probably going to bring more people into the game. It's going to bring people back to the game. And maybe some people didn't have a wheel then. Maybe they got a wheel recently. Maybe they got a wheel... For Christmas and they haven't really checked out the game so uh yeah we're going to get into the uh, the settings here and I'm going to show you guys how I have my wheel set up for this game all right guys so the first thing we're going to talk about here is the fact that you can map a ton of stuff to the wheel um, unfortunately the wheel doesn't have enough buttons to, to map everything but there's so many things you can map and you don't have to map what I have mapped I just uh I met to the wheel the things that I use the most and the things that uh, that I, I want that I feel is the most important to have at a, a press of a button. So my parking brake is set for the circle button. And again, you can set this up any way you want. Now I'm using the uh, the Fanatic Club Sport BMW M3 GT2. So the way this is set up, um, it, it's kind of perfect for for this wheel. Um, if you have another wheel, obviously the buttons are going to be set up different, so kind of just do it however you want to do it. Um, but yeah, th these are my settings. So the parking brake I have set to the circle button. We have the speed limiter toggle I have set to the L3, so I love having the speed limiter toggle um, at my fingertips because when you're in the city and if you have uh, speeding tickets on, you won't speed. You, you just hit the button, I, I press L3, I can't speed in the city, and then when I get out of town, I shut it off and then I... Uh, I hit it, you know what I mean? So let's go down into vehicle functions here. So now you can open each individual door. I don't really see the point in doing that. So I have open and close all doors set to the square button. I have the handicap wrap set to the triangle. We have the windshield wiper toggle set to L2. Unboard, I don't know what unboard means. And greet driver, I, I don't know. I don't know what these really mean, to be honest with you. So the windshield wiper toggle I have set to the L2. Kneeling toggle is down on the D-pad. So on my wheel, um, the Club Sport wheels for Fnatic have the funky switch, which is basically a D-pad, but also has the um, uh, the rotating knob on top. And then you also have, on the other side of the wheel, like a, an analog stick. Now, on Farming Simulator and SnowRunner, that analog stick will actually control the camera. It doesn't in this game, and that is such a disappointment because having that all on the wheel is so amazing, and it makes everything so much better to do right on the wheel so you don't even have to mess with the controller. But unfortunately, they haven't done that. You know, maybe that's something they will do with the, uh, the update. I, I have no idea. So now we can take a look at the lights. I have the passenger light toggle. Uh, the up button. Passenger light toggle. Do, is that? That doesn't seem right to me maybe it is okay headlights toggle yeah the headlight toggle is on the left button 
I'm trying to think. So I thought, yeah, that's the headlight toggle. That'll toggle between your uh, your headlights and your high beams. And then I can cycle through them on the R2 button. Then we have the indicator left. That's that's the shifters. That's that's always how that is. Uh, warning lights. I don't I don't need the warning lights and the amber lights. I have no idea what the amber lights are, so therefore I feel like I probably don't need them. View modes. This is uh, the the toggle the action cam is R3 button. That's something that I really like to do. I think it's a really cool feature um, when you're dropping off passengers or picking and picking them up. I like to go to the action cam to see outside. Um, toggle passenger mirror view. I have that to the the right button. So I press right, and that'll bring that up. I'll show you guys all this stuff. Uh, toggle cash cashier view. Uh, you, I don't do that. I use the controller because you have to use the control pad anyway. So it's just easier. So under advanced settings, I don't believe I have changed anything on these. No, I left that all the same. That was fine. My force feedback settings. I have everything set to 100. I like to feel everything. The force feedback in this game isn't, you know, game break. It's not, you know, mind blowing. Um, I feel like it's perfect for a bus sim. You, you don't need to have crazy amounts of uh, force feedback on a bus sim. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of the way I feel about it. So those are all my settings that I use on the wheel. So, for instance, I press the square button here. And we close the doors. And that action cam is this here. So it, it just takes you outside the bus. It shows you that side of the bus. Like I said, I like when I pull up to a stop because I like to see the people get on and off and stuff like that. Um, I don't use it while driving. Um, the biggest feature in this game that I absolutely love that I feel like every driving game, every driving simulator should have this feature is this. So if I turn the camera all the way this way, all I have to do is press the X on the steering wheel and it centers the camera. It centers it right back. That's only a feature that you can use on the wheel, okay? You can't even use it on the controller. If I turn the wheel off and I go into the settings of the controller, that is not a feature on the controller. Really should do so again, if I press right, I can take a look at the passengers. I actually love having that feature. Um, again, if I press down, that's to kneel. If I press up, oh, yeah, that is. Those are the passenger lights, so we can see that. Turn that on and off, drive them crazy. And then, see that? I could toggle my high beams on. So if I have my regular headlights on, there's the high beam. I can toggle that. And I had a push the button, I could turn the windshield wipers on. Um, the ramp right there. We can do that all at a push of a button. Absolutely beautiful. That's, you know, it's one of my favorite aspects of this game. And I mean, it's one of the things that Firm Bus Simulator and Tourist Bus Simulator desperately need. They desperately need it. And I mean, the developer of this game is this still weather. alive. And they're a small dev team, and they they managed to do this. So I don't know what it is about TML that they can't get the tools to get that stuff working on the wheels. I really feel like it's more that they don't want to than anything. But yeah, those are those are the settings for my wheel. Those are the key bindings that I use. And like I said, guys, you can use anything you want. You know, it really depends on the layout of your wheel. Uh, dude. Why? Well oh, it's people today. crossing. See, that's... That's something that they really need to change with this game. Like, see that dude? He's just gonna walk right out there. What, does the passenger want to get off? You can wait till we get to the next stop, lady. So, yeah, guys. I am... Whoa! I am... <laughs> Really excited about this update because there's a lot of things wrong with this game that I really hope that they've uh, they've sorted out and they've fixed this time. I see. Meeting and uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to be having a lot more content. Bye bye. On this game, oh, we need to put out the ramp.
and, and like I said, next week, it's uh, May 16th. I would like we get to the big update. So uh, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for the new graphics. I've seen the new trailer for the, the, new, uh, the new parts of Angel Shores, and I'm actually impressed. I mean, if that's in-game footage, I'm, uh, I'm actually quite impressed with it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you like the video, press the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And as always, we'll see you next time. Look at all the garbage along the roadside.